Now we heard earlier about the Mayor's plans to help the capital through the economic downturn. But even though these are tough times for businesses, some are finding innovative ways to thrive. As part of our series, Bucking the Trend, Louisa Preston has been to meet designers in North London who are working together to make ends meet. Three London designers working hard at home and doing well as the economy falters. Part of their success is down to this woman. Laura Dunkley sells their products online. She thinks launching an internet company during a recession actually offers a good business opportunity. So I think they're the businesses that are doing well and will, go, will do well going forward. I mean, people don't have to spend money on petrol or parking and they can order very easily and conveniently at home. So how are the designers coping? Mandy Sutcliffe is a children's book illustrator and her company Bell & Boo sells prints, gifts and accessories. Because of the recession, they've looked for business outside of the UK. When times are a bit hard and a bit negative, I think people are looking for some positivity and I think that the illustrations really evoke that. And We've teamed up with an Australian designer who designs vintage children's clothes and that's been fantastic and I don't think we'd have sort of looked further afield if this hadn't have happened. We'd have you know, stayed based in the UK and what we knew and what we were comfortable with. So it's been very exciting and very positive. Not far away in North London, Jane Rafter designs leather sandals. She hand makes the slinks with crystals and beads in her sitting room. In the last few months, she's extended her range and made changes to cope with the downturn. In a weird kind of way, the recession could actually be a very positive thing for me because it's made me develop a new range of products which are more economical for people. Originally, a set of slink sandals would cost £120, whereas now I've developed other ranges which, which cost between sort of £15 and £25, but still keeping the, the good quality and the creative input that, that's always been there. Sarah Obridge designs vintage-inspired cards and stationery from her home in Kilburn. They're all printed in this country, which she feels has been a benefit. The cards are produced within the UK, um, and that has given me the opportunity to have face-to-face -face and a very um, good relationship with all my suppliers. And that's come in handy when it comes to negotiation. I read something somewhere, and it said, in times of hardship and, um, and, um, and recession, um, people still buy food. Um, they'll still get the haircut and they'll still send each other birthday card. So I thought, well, I'll go into this business. By joining together the way that we do, I think we all feel that we're, we're pulling together and we, we intend to ride the recession and come out the other side lean and, and efficient and ready to take on the next stage of, of our business. So it's not all doom and gloom for some businesses in the capital, especially if they're prepared to make a few changes. Louisa Preston, BBC London News. He was one of the world's most successful 